Hello, buddy. This is Mr. Neon, and today we're gonna watch. Um. By the way, can you survive the zombie apocalypse? I'm gonna do a qu quiz for this, so let's start it. For the remainder of this video, when I say zombies, I mean the fast kind, not the slow Walking oh. Dead style. All right? Okay. Are, are you cool? If even a single mm -hmm. one of you comment about how there are different types of zombies, I swear, Jesus. they're sticking to the fast zombie land type of zombies. So, Look. today we're going to be playing Can You Survive the Zombie Apocalypse, right? I personally mm. love the idea of zombies. Something about surviving a horde of human flesh-eating undead people roaming around the town Jeez. excites me. Okay, that's... That's weird. Weird. <laughs> okay, you know, obviously there are personal traits that play a role into when you're when you're trying to survive the zombie apocalypse, like how fit you are, or like do you feel anything when you kill someone that looks like a human being, or are you smart enough to pick out the right type of people, or how prepared you are, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, maybe but I'm prepared. Assessing the situation quickly is a crucial like survival skill. So today I'm going to be giving you guys scenarios to pick from, and each scenario will lead you to the next stage until you either escape. Or die in the process. And the less number of times you die or pick the wrong answer in this process, the higher your survival skills are. Alright? Okie doke. Let's kill those. Right. Okay. Well, wait, what? Alright, here we go. Man, we're really milking this whole show thing, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you're just finishing up shopping and you're on your way home. You hear on the news radio that a zombie apocalypse broke out. So you rush home. Now, just when you're about to enter your house or your apartment, you see a woman running up towards you, with a zombie also running behind her. She yells, help, help, please save me. What do you do? A. Drop everything and help her. B. Close the door and act like nothing happened. C. Go into your house and get some makeshift weapon and come out. D. Keep the door open for her to come in. She's dead. Honestly, anytime you try to help someone, you're just putting your own life in danger. I don't care who it is, unless I actually know them, they're gonna have to die by themselves. Shoot. If that was me, I would have tried to help. That, that's me. That's just me. <laughs> that's probably the wrong choice to <laughs> make. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> yeah. So wait, so one sec. The, so the objective of the game is to survive as long as possible? Yeah, survive and pick <clears throat> the right choices. Oh, that's easy. So, so good. Oh, so, no, 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 wait. so, we're trying to make the right choice, not the choices that we would make? Yeah, just, just, you're trying to get it right to survive. Oh, mm, this is hard. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did you guys pick? A, B, C, or D? Honestly? Oh, but, um, hmm. I could pick, hmm. I'm gonna pick, I guess I will pick D, because that's my only option. I can actually help people. Close the door, act like nothing happened. Another mouth to feed is too hard. Oh, I would ah. pick D. Keep the door open for her to come in. And other zombies? Yeah. Yeah, oh, the answer fuck. is B. Because people that constantly ask for other people's help will usually what? end up betraying you for their own survival later on. And although having company is important, someone helpless is not worth saving in a survival situation. Because mm. they may stab you back later. Easy. Don't worry. Okay. Now you're home, you heartless bastard. You left the woman to die. <laughs> oh man, I've got the... You it off because you're cool, right? I've got the <laughs> wrong you lock one. The doors and you make sure all the windows are locked as well. Fuck. What is your first Dang course it. of action? A, let's make some makeshift weapons ASAP. B, go to the window and see how the zombies behave. Oh, C, fuck. charge the batteries, fill everything with water. D, who first? Think later. Gross. Um, I think I'd go with C. If it was me. Why? Because who knows? Um. Okay, so charging the battery, you can you can just let it sit, and then you can do other things. But it should come first. You don't know when the electricity will will disappear. Yeah, I agree with Hosa. If you're in a safe area, you should stock up on stuff. And the best defense is good cardio. <laughs> Start walking cardio. in your basement. <laughs> leg, never skip leg day. <laughs> just doing <laughs> squats as soon as you see zombies. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> No, that's like the first and foremost thing you do. You go in your house, you just kill that lady, and just start doing squats. <laughs> well, I'm gonna pick C. Okay. C. C is the right answer, and all these options yes, are crucial. I you should it. do all of them, but batteries and water supplies are crucial since you never know when they're gonna run out. Right. Now, unless you can already bash a man's head with your bare hands, you need some sort of weapon. 
And now, since we are in Canada, we don't have guns ready at hand. Here's some oh, options. Kind of a, a, a baseball place. bat. B, a kitchen knife. C, a kendo sword. D, bare hands, because you're an effing boss. Obviously, the baseball bat. Well, I, Was it a I will pick a baseball, baseball bat. I guess you can't really hit as hard with the kendo sword. Yeah, I don't think kitchen knife would do well. Of course not. It's too short range, and yeah. any piercing weapons against zombies aren't very effective, because you can only destroy the brain to make it stop doing stuff. But the thing is, are we able to smash a normal person's head open with a baseball bat? Because even if it's a zombie, it should have similar strength, solidity. Like, the bone is similar in strength, whether your skin is rotting or not. So, are we able to do that? I would say so. Bones uh, need a lot of nutrients to maintain themselves. If they suddenly stop getting those nutrients, they become brittle. Osteoporosis. Terrible for zombies. Great for humans, but... Terrible for zombies. So yeah, I think we'd go with the baseball bat. Man, you guys are on a roll. Yeah, baseball bat is the right answer. And I know, like, why not a kendo sword? Because it's not like in the movies. Unless you know how to properly use a sword, your best bet is to use something that can release the highest amount of force without much skill, a.k.a. Whoa. a baseball bat. Plus, what's the probability that you have a kendo sword in your basement and you've gotten laid before? <laughs> 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 what what yeah. does that have to do anything with surviving? <laughs> Doesn't matter how sex. Well, let me ask you something, guys. If you was a zombie apocalypse, do not use bare hands because zombies can actually bite you with your fist. So I picked your A because I'm actually good at like fighting with my own fist. Sometimes my legs. But zombies can actually bite you if you try to punch. <laughs> I mean, Steven, I if you really wanted the whole sex thing, you should have probably let the woman in. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, fuck. Right. Finally, the moment of truth. What will you do? What is the next course of action? A. Call a friend or friends to see how they're doing. B. Go to a major mall like Costco or Walmart for more supplies. C. Fortify your house the best you can. D. Attempt to get out of the town or the city as soon as possible. Okay, well, so I will this pick one is a, a kind of a what if question. Pick a if you're for in an extremely it. populated city, my answer is D. Attempt to get out of the town or city as soon as possible. More people equals more zombies. However, oh, if you live in some place that's pretty isolated with a population of less than 1,000, I would honestly fortify your house the best you can, which is C. Um, my option would be call a friend or friends and see how they're doing and try to get in touch with them somehow. Because I would be freaking traumatized at that point. Like, <laughs> I need someone. I need someone to talk to. Wim. So, yeah, my, my answer is A. All right. The answer Fuck. is surprisingly A. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I wow. did it. All right, let me explain. <laughs> let me explain. you guys. You can't survive you guys your dead. <laughs> So according to the Book of Zombie Survival Guide, all of these options, B, C, and D, are valid. Depending on the situation or the surrounding, you may pick any of these options or even other options, right? However, every single one of these things are very difficult to do alone. With the right type of people, you can avoid certain outcomes. But Daniel, didn't you let the girl die? Well, yeah, but then the helpless girl, you know, the girl was helpless. And so I'm sure at least one of your friends are athletic or have a nice vehicle. And so you need friends to make sure you don't freaking die to do any of these types of things. So, hey, you, both of you guys died once. It's a tie. The last question Terrible. is a tie. Breaker. Okay, so obviously you should only try to contact your close friends or family members. But how many is the right number? A, just one or two more. B, no, screw other humans, I'm sticking on my own. C, get at least 10 people. More people means better survival. D, I'm gonna get myself a pet, like that Will Smith movie. Okay, well, I know the answer is A, just one or two. Well, we'll but pick I'm gonna a. say D, because I want to see Hosa animate a cute pet. <laughs> <laughs> so D. I've because I can pick, over this. because I gotta <laughs> pick like one or two. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you some like for um one two it's actually really good because it was like a lot of zombies coming to the like different direction it's good as your friends trying to help you for coming somewhere but 10 less is actually a bad idea you will find out at the episode the, the youtube the video <laughs> anything 
Now, now Stephen, what kind of Stephen? Be very specific. What kind of dog do you want? One or two or oh, dozens? Wait. <laughs> 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 Okay, yeah. right. I'm sorry. I'm well, sorry. I personally get a dog because dogs they, they're kind of reliant on humans now and they kinda of have a, a mutual symbiosis. What about you, Hosa? Okay. So if you get ten or more people, yeah, your group will slow down so much that you're not gonna be able to do anything. It, it's gonna be like, oh no, my, my sister's still in there, we gotta save her. <laughs> oh, That's no. gonna happen freaking fifty times over the entire period. <laughs> Why I'm pretty sister? Uh, I'll go for A. Steven, you died again. The answer's A. Hey, I did it. I was it. getting a pet a bad idea. Okay, so if you have a pet, eat it. You can't afford it. To... <laughs> <That's>... I'm gonna have some for this. What the fuck? <laughs> you can't Just because afford... you're Asian, Daniel. No, no, what? No, no, no. No, okay. I, I get that people are attached to their pets. Not denying that, but you can't afford to have some pet barking around or even stealing your food. Throw it away or eat it. And the reason why more than 10 people is a bad idea is because without a doubt, someone will be arguing with someone. This isn't the walking dead. You know, groups of people don't become family that easily. Just one or two people where it's small enough to hide but protect each other's back is perfect. So, Hosa, you're the winner! Yay! But that is well, I think I'm... I, I, I think yeah, I'm the winner! How, we how both won! Two days. Honestly, before I start giving up, a month. I feel like I'll be one of those people that like <laughs> is the, like the first one to get bit or something, the first one to contract the virus. <laughs> By the way, yes, I did this beforehand. I got like one right. Actually, oh really? What? I got Suck. every single one of this wrong. So even Suck. though I want it to happen, it's I am so screwed. Oh yeah, you're probably the first to die. Thank you for telling me, Daniel. I'll make sure to not include you in my phone list. No, dude, no, you can you can leave me behind. You know, I could be the bait. Literally the first wow. idea I had, but okay. Wow. Wow, hold up. If it was if it was an apple tree, so you had to be a bet. But well, I hope you enjoy. Leave a comment, subscribe. And if we hit ten or five subscriber subscribe, I'll do another one for this. So Bye!